Today, the 40th day of our 40 days of fasting and praying, the last day of the 40 days of miracles, the 40 days of patience, the 40 days of your sacrifice, the 40 days of your dedication, the 40 days of your focus, the 40 days of your love to the Lord God Jesus Christ. You have loved the Lord God, you have been patient, you have not listened to your own but you gave yourself to the Lord, you waited upon the Lord for something big and I asked the Lord for our reward. So on 40th day, I said, Lord, my people are awaiting for the reward after they have sacrificed their days, their time. They have lowered their flesh so that your spirit will increase. There is growth in the spiritual realms. And today I said, Lord, it's time for the reward. So tell my people, tell your sheep, tell your beloved ones who have been waiting what is the reward for their patience for their trouble for their dedication towards you and the lord god said that your reward is on on before 22 02 2022 so as i was awaiting upon the lord and i said lord they must receive the reward immediately today itself the lord god said that it will be within a week and within a week we have this date 22-02-2022. Your blessings, your reward is on or before 22-02-2022. And my beloved ones, we have received a very beautiful prophetic word from the book of prophecy to support God's promises for us. So the Lord gave me this promise for you who have been waiting. The Lord said it is the trouble, double the trouble blessings. You have been troubled so much. You had been patient, you forgive them all, you could take revenge, but no, they cheated you. Still, the Lord God says that in spite of the lackings, you remained faithful to the Lord. You could have kept those blessings for yourself, but you kept on giving it for the Lord's glory. The finances that you had received, you kept on sowing it according to the Lord's will. You could have used it for your own purpose. But the Lord is saying that today, today, as we end the 40 days of fasting and praying, as I bless your soul, he is going to bless you with these promises from Isaiah chapter 61, starting from verse 5. The Lord God says, strangers will shepherd your flocks. Foreigners will work your fields and vineyards. Verse 6 says, and you will be called priests of the Lord. You will be named ministers of our God. You will feed on the wealth of the nations and in their riches you will boast. Verse 7 says, instead of your shame, you will receive double portion. And instead of disgrace, you will rejoice in your inheritance. And so you will inherit a double portion in your land and everlasting joy will be yours. So the Lord God is going to bless you with the double portion of whatever you had been waiting, of whatever you have lost in your life, double portion of the trouble the devourer has caused in your life. And whatever is the disgrace, if you are being put to shame because you do not have a home, if you are being put to shame because you do not have children, if you are still single and you have crossed the age of marriage biologically, the Lord God says that your blessings will manifest. And this is the reward for sacrifices. My beloved ones, the Lord God is a big rewarder and he knows that you need it urgently. Verse 8 says, For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. In my faithfulness, I will reward my people and make an everlasting covenant with them. So the everlasting covenant is that you shall have a home. You will own your own land. You will have your own husband, your own children. Verse 9 says, Their descendants will be known among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them will acknowledge that they are people the Lord has blessed. So, the people of the world will say you are good. Today I received this compliment and I was surprised. 
I was astonished when someone said it is too good, it is very good. I was surprised and I knew the blessings are released because I was not expecting that compliment, I was not expecting that praise when you are being hated by people for so many years. When it is the Lord's day, when the heavens are open for you, you will start receiving this kind of blessings. Verse 10 says, I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of his righteousness. As a bridegroom adorns his head like a priest and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. Verse 11 says, for as the soil makes the sprout come up and a garden causes seeds to grow so the sovereign lord will make righteousness and praise spring up before all nations so this is a very beautiful blessings it is your lifetime blessing so the lord is promising you prosperity because he showed me the instances where you were cheated badly and you didn't complain the tears are still within you you are still crying when you paid the rent for the apartment and you had to leave that apartment within a week's time, within two or three days, because you started being harassed by the owner, you started getting harassed by the neighbors, you started getting harassed even by those maids, the people who were working, the servants. But my beloved ones, you had those tears that you got cheated, you lost the money, you had to leave everything and you had to move ahead because you were so much tortured and tormented. Today, I see that pain. I see how the devourer troubled you. I see how the witchcraft made you suffer. How the witches tormented you. I saw it. And in my heart, I said, Lord, there is indeed the reward for the trouble. The trouble of your beloved sheep that they remain meek they didn't say anything they didn't go to the police but they waited upon the righteous lord god today for all those who remain holy under the righteousness all those who obeyed the lord in their meekness who remained silent forgiving them who had cheated you you lost your finances you let the devourer go but today the lord god says you will receive double the trouble double the trouble you won't have to wander because the lord god knows now you should have your own home your own spouse your own babies because after all your own blessings are your own your own blessings your own children are your own you cannot depend upon others for love the lord god will give your own people your own home enough of the sacrifices now the Lord God says, receive the blessings. And how quick? I said, my people, Lord, my people, my sheep are so thirsty that they need overnight blessings. They are waiting for their financial breakthroughs. They want their business to run overnight. They want their job promotion. They want to marry today itself. It should be so immediately, so urgent. The Lord God said it's within a week. So he gave me this date. And this date I am seeing since the time of the 40 days of fasting and praying. And it is indeed the double the trouble promises. Because even during this 40 days of fasting and praying, you had humbled yourself. And I can feel the pain. I can feel what you have gone through. When I cannot put everything in the words here, in my heart I know the church has suffered, the beloved sheep my people sent by lord god jesus christ have suffered and you cannot tell your sufferings to anyone but he knows he has seen the tears within even when you are listening to me you have tears within you are crying inside and you are meek the lord said blessed are you who suffered and during the days of suffering you still remain faithful to jesus you didn't say no you're not my lord god but you believed in him and you moved forward but how long will you suffer how long will you be put to shame i said lord they must be blessed and within a week's time 
on on before 2202-2022. The Lord God says you shall receive the reward. Even if you have not done the 40 days of fasting and praying because I, your spiritual mother, I, the pastor, I, your shepherd have already done it for you. For my sacrifices, you shall receive the blessings. When I work hard, my children, my sons and daughters, the Lord's people, they must receive the reward. So you will receive the reward. I, the prophet of the living God, I bless you with the blessings and you shall come back with the testimony. You will see the manifestation. Someone is coming to help you. Someone is coming to receive you. Someone is coming to bless you. Someone is coming to say you are mine. Someone is coming to say you are good to good. Someone is coming with those sweet words. Someone is coming because the angels of God are sending them. You have stayed enough in the humbleness now it's time to remove the glamour out of your life and become prosperous in true sense prosperity where you will have genuine things in your life the best of the lord this is the reason the lord god says you shall not lack anything best you shall not lack anything good you shall not lack anything too good because today i receive this praises that it is too good and that I heard, Lord, it is only you. And I felt tears in my eyes. I heard this for me since generations, since decades. But when the Lord's mercy comes, it comes in abundance. It comes like it will never end. It will keep on flowing. And the same pain that you have. Today, I also say about you that you are too good. You are indeed too good. In the name of Jesus, Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. We thank all those who are honoring the Lord with their wealth and for all the offerings. We bless you with a hundredfold of return. My beloved ones, if you have not yet received our Lord God Jesus Christ, if you have not yet received the Holy Spirit, we shall pray a small prayer because this repentance is at hand. Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence to our Lord Jesus Christ. And today we receive salvation. We receive Holy Spirit into our heart. Oh Lord, forgive us our sins and help us to be born again. We shall seek you, O Lord Jesus Christ, unto Zion. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My beloved ones, with this small prayer of repentance, your sins are forgiven and you have received Holy Spirit within you. You shall walk the walk of righteousness.